Hey everybody, Matt Clark here with uh, Mike McClary. So welcome to this uh, episode of the Million Dollar Brands Live Daily Show. So we're doing this basically every weekday at 3 p.m. Central right here on our Facebook channel. Uh, you'll also see the edited versions posted to our YouTube channel. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us. Today we're gonna tell, show you how to find the best products to sell online. Now, if you're joining us here, you're likely interested in building a business and one of the first things you have to figure out if you want to build a business is what the heck are you going to sell? And that's what today's episode is all about. How do you figure what the best products are to sell? Ideally, you go out there and if you could find something that has a great potential for profit but low competition, that's a good product you want to look at. And we've developed a whole step-by-step -step process for finding these kind of products using one of the best sites out there that has tons of data, billions of products for sale, about $300 billion in revenue, and that's Amazon. Amazon is an incredible place to find good products to sell because pretty much all the data is public. You just have to know how to look through it and find it. So in today's episode, we're going to show you exactly how to find the best products to sell on Amazon. The cool thing is, is that it's constantly growing, constantly changing. Amazon keeps adding, you know, tens and tens of billions of dollars each and every single year in revenue, which means that there's new and better product opportunities that pop up all the time. You know, a lot of people sometimes wonder, oh, is Amazon too competitive now? because you know they hear that there's something like two million sellers uh, the thing is first of all most of those sellers aren't doing hardly anything it's maybe somebody that has an Amazon seller account sold a couple used books on there that kind of thing is a majority of people that have Amazon seller accounts the other ones are a lot of times selling other people's branded products maybe they're uh, you know reselling like iPhone charging cables and stuff like that it's a minority who are doing the kind of business that you're gonna to learn today. So something to keep in mind, but the cool thing is, is that because Amazon keeps growing and because its share of retail keeps growing and online retail's share of total retail keeps growing, that the opportunities are nearly endless. There's new opportunities that pop up on Amazon every single month, and we're gonna show you how to find those. Absolutely. All right, so uh, you know one of the things Matt, Matt mentioned also, you know that, they're, that Amazon keeps growing and the opportunities are growing, but also they released just the past year the number of sellers that are making significant money. We're talking about sellers that are selling over a hundred thousand dollars a year, hit over twenty thousand this year. So even though you know you may think that it's only just a few, a handful of sellers out there that are able to make significant revenue on Amazon. Amazon is really giving more and more tools and helping sellers just like us sell more every year. I mean, that's $100,000 in a year for over 24,000 different people out there, um, and, there's, and that number keeps growing. Now it's over half of all of Amazon's products are sold by people just like you and us, uh, people creating their own brands of products and selling them on Amazon. Yeah, so I mean, we've got an awesome process. We're gonna show you how to find these products. I mean, some products on Amazon do millions of dollars every single month. Now we're going to show you how to find products that you know may do 20 grand a month, 50 grand a month, 100 grand a month. Still a lot of money over the course of a year, but some products do significantly more. But the cool thing is, is the process works for all of them. So you know, without waiting any longer, we're going to go ahead and get into it. So Mike has his computer pulled up over here, and we're going to be able to show you what's going on. So we have a step-by-step -step process for finding products, but the first thing is is to get into the right kind of category. And so we've got kind of a tricky way to do this. <laughs> that's uh, things change all the time on Amazon. This is currently working really well. Uh, we're always on top of this stuff. So, Mike, maybe show them the first step of how do you even go pull up a list of products to begin with. Yeah, so, you know, normally when you go to Amazon, the first thing you want to do is type in the kind of product that you want to look for. So, if I want to look for some type of beauty product or teeth cleaning product, wherever it is, you would type that in. But in this situation, because we want to find just the most popular products in any category, we're going to type in a very specific, well, at the start of a very specific search string, we're going to use the negative key right on your computer, and then any random set of numbers. Uh, just, I'm just going to like type on my keyboard here. It doesn't matter what it is. As long as you have the negative, uh, the negative uh, sign and then any random characters and hit search, it's going to start pulling up all the top selling products out of all of Amazon. Uh, and usually it goes, you know, the very order from the top selling down to the bottom. Now, when you do that, you also want to start digging into some of the categories because you want to look at a niche or a category that you may be interested in, whether it's sports and outdoors, whether it's health and personal care. Um, so I'm going to show you to do that. Next on the search bar, you'll actually see a little drop-down box. I hardly ever use this. Like when I go to Amazon, I just search Amazon. Probably you guys do that as well. But for the sake of what we're looking for, we're going to pull up all the categories. We're just going to pick one here. And then I'm and gonna, just so they know, yeah. there's a couple of these categories you kind of want to avoid. Mm -hmm. For the business model that you know we typically teach, um, things like the app store, books, 
uh, CD and vinyl, software, all those kind of categories don't really apply to this. What you're looking for are the categories that represent, you know, regular consumer products, like products you'd find around your house, around your office, you know, stuff for your car, um, that kind of thing, just regular products. Uh, not, nothing digital or software wise because that's sort of a totally different business model. You're looking for typical consumer products, so start digging into those categories. Yeah, anything you may see on the shelf behind us, as a matter of fact. Mm. We have a whole bunch of them. We did a lot of shopping this week. Uh, so I'm going to go down and just pick out, there's baby, personal, beauty and personal care. And once you pick any category, you simply hit the search button again. And now you'll see that it's starting to pull up some of the top selling products in beauty and personal care. To make this process even a little easier, we're going to go even, even deeper into this category. On the left hand side of Amazon, you'll see all the different departments over there and makeup, skin care, hair care. I'm going to pick oral care. And then we're going to see a whole bunch of products. Uh, as you can see, the best sellers are at the top. That's a sign that they are truly showing us the top selling, the uh, you know doing the most number of sales every single day and month at the top. And as we scroll down, it's just going to go in order from that. So best selling down to the bottom. Keep in mind though, on this screen right here, we're only seeing about. 40 different products. There are billions of products on Amazon, uh, so you'd have to dig really deep. You don't need to do that. Just you know, search for a few pages to look for some of the products, and then we'll start looking for the criteria on the screen that Matt's going to talk about. Yeah, so once we're on the category page, the first criteria, we have five criteria that help us find good product opportunities and we recommend other people use. So the first criteria is related to price. And when we talk about price, we're talking about the price that these products are selling for. So in this case, you know, you see them for $58, $49, $44. Those are the prices that we're talking about is what price is the current product selling for on Amazon. The reason this is important is, you know, the range we recommend is about $15 to $70 selling price. If the price is too low, if the product's selling for three bucks, for example, you're not gonna have a lot of profit margin there and it's almost not even worth doing unless you're selling in massive volume, but that's kind of a totally different kind of business. On the other end of the spectrum, even more extreme, is uh, you know maybe a product selling for $200, $300, $400 could still be a great business, but if you're just getting started in e-commerce, if you're just getting started and building your own brand and buying inventory, you might make a few mistakes. And so you don't want to be stuck with you know $20,000 worth of inventory or something crazy like that uh, just to get enough inventory to get one of those products live. And so we have found kind of a sweet spot that if products sell between about $15 to $70, then there's plenty of them available. Your inventory risk is fairly minimal uh, and you can still make good profit because the last thing we want you to do is to go out there and take a whole bunch of unnecessary risk or waste your time. So $15 to $70 is what we found is kind of the sweet spot for selling price. And if you look on my screen right here, I'm gonna share this again, uh, you'll see that pretty much anything in this category, you know, $15 to $70, those are some of the most common prices on Amazon. So everything here, we see uh, this first one, a water pick water flosser for $58, some more electronic toothbrushes for $49. Pretty much, uh, we do see one on the right hand side top, uh, which is toothpaste, uh, only $13.85. That would be below the $15. Uh, but as you scroll down, almost anything on this page is going to meet the first criteria for the price. Yep, and uh, just kind of because we are live here, want to call out a few people that have joined us. So we've got uh, Reginald, we've got Sonia from uh, Nigeria, awesome, all the way on the other side of the planet, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Renee, Annette, uh, Kalita, Dees, Javier. Uh, I saw Rob Schull, I believe you may have been on here with us yesterday also, because we are doing the show daily. So welcome, if, uh, if that's the same person, welcome back. So yeah, thanks everyone for uh, joining us live. And so the second criteria we look for, uh, in addition to price, is what Amazon calls best sellers rank. And like Mike said, when you search this way, the products are pretty much in order from best selling um, in terms of you know, if the product sells 100 units a day, that sells better than a product that sells 50 units a day. And Amazon kind of ranks products for best sellers rank according to that. And so we like products that are ranked, or best sellers rank, about 300 to 5,000 in their category. So this is category specific, a top level category, which Mike can show you in just a second. We like products that are ranked about 300 to 5,000. Now Amazon starts the ranking per category at one, meaning that is the first, the top best selling product in that category. The reason we kind of avoid the first 300 products in a category is a lot of times they're very competitive. When people are doing their own product research, big brands, you know, established Amazon sellers, they're typically focusing on those top 300 or so products. And so if you jump into one of those with no experience in this business, maybe not a lot of, not a lot of cash available, 
you could have a hard time competing because if you're doing marketing and everything, everything's just kind of scaled up. You may need more money to get that thing going. You may need more inventory, may have to do more promotion, spend more on marketing. It's all possible. And once you know this business, you can totally go after those. But our whole thing is to help people that have never built a business before, especially an e-commerce business, be as successful as possible. So we recommend for competition reasons to kind of avoid those first 300 or so products in a category. Now the reason it's not 300 to anything else in the category, and we kind of cap it out at top 5,000, is that when you get kind of above the 5,000 mark, meaning a product that could be you know, the 10,000th best-selling product in a category, you can occasionally find good opportunities there. However, if you're gonna pick a product, one product to start with, which is what we recommend, we recommend not doing anything that's kind of above 5,000 because sometimes the sales volume can be too small. You're gonna have to do all the same work. You're gonna have to create your own brand, find a supplier, order samples, get inventory, uh, get your packaging done, get the listing created, all that sort of stuff. The last thing we want you to do is do all that work for a product that's only gonna sell one or two units a day. So that's why we recommend about 300 to 5,000. Yeah, and so now even though on the screen we have here, you could see all the prices, you can't really see the BSR until you dig in, you click on one of these and look at the actual product. So I've pulled up one of these. Uh, this is the Philips Sonic Care Protective Clean Toothbrush. Now, the only way to find the best seller's rank is to scroll to the bottom of this listing here. We're gonna look down past the product description and we're gonna find a section that's actually gonna say best seller's rank. And I keep scrolling, keep scrolling, and we'll get to it eventually, trust me, but it's pretty far down. It uh, takes a little time to get to. <laughs> there we go. So finally under product details, and I'll highlight this here, you will see Amazon best seller rank. And this one right here is number 823 in the beauty and personal care. Now, one thing to keep in mind, Matt mentioned, you want what we call the top level category. Amazon likes to help us categorize all their products by you know, the big overarching category. This is beauty and personal care. This is automotive. Uh, but they also like to give us some more specific details. So not only is this product in beauty and personal care, it's also... Uh, Number two, in sonic toothbrushes. They have an entire category just for sonic toothbrushes. For the rules that we're talking about, these between 300 and 5,000, you only want to take into account the top level category. And the way you can know if you're in a top level cap category is you will see the words C top 100 in that category after it. That's how you know which one it is. And for this one, uh, this meets our criteria. It's number 823, which is above 300, below 5,000 in this category, and it's gonna more likely do a really good amount of revenue every month, but not too much competition either. Yeah, and the reason we use just that top level category to compare opportunities and find good opportunities is that with that subcategory, you know, like you said, sonic toothbrushes, you have no idea how well those products do in that category. They could do incredible. They could be, you know, like iPhone chargers, for example, or USB chargers, that kind of thing. That could be a category that those products all sell, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. Or in this case, you could be number 10 in Sonic Toothbrush, which sounds cool, but that product may only be selling you know, three units a day, which is why the only way to really compare good products um, without using a tool, which we'll show you in just a second, is to use that top level category. So in this case, it's beauty and personal care. So we recommend in that top level category, um, not just that one, but the other ones too, uh, 300 to 5,000. So maybe we wanna show them um, kind of a faster way to do this because the issue with this is, as you can tell, like unlike price, you literally have to click on every single listing if you wanna see the best seller's rank to start filtering through products. And it takes a ton of time. So we've actually developed a tool that uh, you're gonna get for free. Uh, but right now we'll just uh, show you what it looks like and uh, we'll tell you later how to get it for free. Um, but yeah, it allows you to really speed this process up. So if you wanna just kinda of show them that real quick. Yeah, sure. So I'm back on the screen where we did our search and we pulled up about uh, 48 products. And you'll see in this upper right hand corner, this little circle, and it's called Profit Miner. When I click on that, it's going to immediately pull up all kinds of awesome details on every single product on this page. Uh, now, it showed me all 48 products on here, and you can see that we have the rank, which is what we're calling the best sellers rank, listed right here. So I can very quickly start scrolling down. I can, you know, exclude the ones at the top, number 22, number 13. Those are way too competitive. They're selling a lot, as a matter of fact, this very first one, if you look over to the right on the revenue, it's doing over a million dollars a month 
in sales. Uh, not that we wouldn't want to do that ourselves, but why make it harder than it has to be? That's a really competitive product. That's why, again, we don't recommend starting off one that, that high. But as you scroll down, you start getting to the different category, or the different BSRs we want. Right here, number eight, the water pick cordless water flosser, number 428. Still does a, a bunch of sales every month. This one does almost $600,000 in sales per month, uh, but it still meets this criteria of BSR. Uh, and one other thing before we go to the next criteria as well. Now, normally we would have to scroll manually through all the different pages. So we get about 40 to 50 results anytime you do a search on Amazon. And then you can always click hit the next page and look through manually through the next 50 results. The Profit Miner tool lets us do that automatically by simply clicking the button at the bottom that says load next page. And you'll notice usually within about three to five seconds, it goes out there and loads another 48 products for you. And here we go. We now have 96. We could continue doing this and be able to see just, you know, hundreds of products. Uh, you could sort by the BSR, by the price, whatever you want to do, all on one screen. It makes it incredibly easy to find the right products. Yep. And so the next uh, criteria we look for is the number of reviews. So when you're looking at products that you could potentially go out there and create your own brand of to sell, uh, you want products that aren't going to be a huge nightmare to try to compete with existing products out there. And so we kind of use the benchmark of about a thousand reviews or less. And so if you're out there looking for opportunities, you want to find ones that the current options that are selling well don't have more than a thousand reviews. The reason for that is that you're going to be starting at zero because you're going to create your own brand, you're going to have your own Amazon product page just like all these Mike has shown you and uh, it's going to start with zero reviews and you're going to have to build from there. Now if all your competitors have 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 reviews, some products have 10, 20,000 plus reviews and so if you're starting with your first five reviews, 10 reviews, 20 reviews, heck even 100 reviews, you're not going to look super credible. Your product is not going to look very credible versus products that have, you know, 5,000 plus reviews. It's going to be a little bit difficult to compete. And then once again, we're trying to help you get started so you make sales as quickly as possible. And it's totally possible to compete with those products. It may take longer and it possibly may take more money because you may, meet, may need more inventory. You may need more money for marketing to build up those reviews. And so if you're just getting started, we recommend you find opportunities with less than a thousand reviews so that you can get started and you can start getting your first 5, 10, 20 reviews and start looking, you know, fairly credible versus the other products and people will actually take a chance and buy your product with the right kind of marketing promotions um, versus competing with ones that just have a, a huge leg up when it comes to reviews. And one thing to keep in mind is that even though it's going to look like from our, from our initial search here, it's, remember it's showing us the best selling top products in this category, which by their nature are going to have a lot of reviews. And you'll see the first several ones have, you know, 16,000, almost 2,000, 3,000, uh, not till the fourth one would we see one, that, one that's under 1,000. These are the very top selling ones. They're the anomalies. Most products on Amazon have far less than a thousand reviews. You just need to know how to look and find them. And luckily we do know how to look and find them. On this screen, you could easily scroll down and I'm going to go back here and we could uh, see just by scrolling on the screen, all the different products that have less than it. And once I get down to the middle, here's another, the genuine Phillips one has only, you know, less than 300 reviews. Uh, as we continue to go down, we'll see the Crest 3D White Strips has 849 reviews. Uh, the Philips Sonicare, uh, lots of products on here have less than 1,000 reviews. And if we use our Profit Miner tool again, uh, we would also be able to see pretty quickly. Um, we could sort by reviews as well over here in the reviews column. And that way you'd be able to see all the products that do not have 1,000 reviews on there. And as I did there, there's, there's a lot right there that have zero, one, three, six, and they're making some decent money. You know, here's one, 16 reviews, uh, Opalescence Teeth Whitener, 16 reviews only, and it's doing $50,000 a month in sales. That's a good indication why even though you, you know, may be starting off with, you know, zero reviews and only get a handful of the first, you know, month or so, you don't have to have a ton of reviews to compete with the big competitors out there. But we just want to make it as easy as possible. Why make it harder if you don't have to? Start, you know, in a category with a product that's not going to put you up against someone who has thousands of reviews. Yep. And so then the fourth criteria is the weight. Now, weight is very important when you're selling a physical product because if the product weighs too much, shipping costs can kind of be a nightmare. It can be very expensive. It can take longer. Uh, there's a lot of reasons. And if you have to deal with refunds and that kind of thing and shipping out additional units, it can be a huge nightmare. So you want, as a new seller, to start with products that are five pounds or less. That allows you to have a relatively inexpensive shipping cost that's not going to you know, greatly affect anything one way or another um, and, and makes your life a heck of a lot simpler. If you can get a product 
that, you know, we used to recommend people only sell products that are light and small, like, you know, for example, this supplement we've got kind of <laughs> rotating up here. Uh, we, we used to recommend people only sell products that are that kind of size because shipping is so cheap and fast. If you sell a product that's say even three pounds and a little bit bulkier, I mean even something that doesn't weigh a lot like a yoga mat for example, but it's kind of bulky, those products, the only way you may be able to be profitable selling those, because they're likely gonna come all the way from China, is if you ship them by sea. And it's perfectly fine. That's how a lot of products, I'd probably say the vast majority of products that are sold in the US coming from China are probably shipped by sea on these giant cargo ships. That's probably how most of them come because it's just way cheaper. Only downside is it takes about five weeks. Uh, from the date it sort of leaves your manufacturer in China to all it gets all the way to the US can be about five weeks, as opposed to shipping by air can be a matter of days, a week or less for sure. Um, so there is a little bit of a delay there, but as long as you're sticking under five pounds, you can make it work one way or another. So uh, yeah, we recommend selling products that are five pounds or less to keep your life a lot easier, especially at first while you're just figuring out this business. Now, so, no, I'll go ahead. Yeah. I was gonna say, uh, it, it, the only way to find out, you know, the weight of a product is we have to dig into that product and I go into the details again. Uh, luckily, in these types of toothbrushes, toothpaste, we're probably not gonna find anything over five pounds. But if you wanted to find for every product that you're looking at where the weight is, we're going to go click on that product. We are going to scroll down again to the bottom, right where we saw the best sellers rank at, and you will see a section that actually has the item weight right there. And so this one is only 2.4 ounces. Uh, this would be one that if you wanted to get going quickly, you could easily have this air shipped in, uh, like I said, within a week. And when you're sending something that that's light, uh, the shipping costs are not that bad. I've seen situations where products that are light actually are cheaper to ship in via air versus over ocean because they don't take up too much space, physical space on the airplanes and you can get them here faster and cheaper that way. Not all the time, but that can happen sometimes. Yeah, so maybe before we move on to the last and final fifth criteria, let's just kind of show them like putting all this stuff together. Uh, we are doing this live, so hopefully this goes pretty smooth. <laughs> uh, but we could put these first four criteria together on this product page just to kind of show you what this looks like. Because this tool we have, which once again, we'll tell you how to get for free. Um, and uh, you know, like we said, you could do all this manually, totally, that's how we used to teach it. We've just developed a tool to make your life way easier. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can put these five criteria together. So, all right. so I'm going to click on the Profit Miner tool, pull this up. Uh, now you'll notice on here, we have all the, all the different columns of information. We have the price, we have the BSR, we have the reviews, we even have the weight on here for you too. So it has everything you need on here. You could sort and manually look, that would save you a ton of time, but we've added a really cool feature called filter. So when we click that, it's going to allow us to put in the minimum and maximum for any different characteristic we want. So let's start with the price. The lowest price we want is $15. And as soon as we enter that in, the tool starts working. It filters out anything that is lower than $15. We also know that the maximum price is $70. So it's going to filter those out as well. We know that for the BSR, we're going to go anywhere from 300 to 5,000. And then now, we, before, oh, yeah. before we add the last two couple criteria is you'll notice is that, you know, it's starting to limit the number of products. Typically before we'd run this, like yeah. if you were doing this on your own and we just didn't want to take a whole lot of time up here, is that the bottom left thing that says load next page, you would typically want to load anywhere from like five to 10 pages. So then it can start filtering a lot more products. So there's a chance we could filter all these <laughs> and there would be nothing left. Uh, maybe not, hopefully not, but your first step would typically be to add more products in here so that uh, you have more options. And what's really cool is you can do that at any point in time. If you realize, oh my gosh, you know, we're really narrowing down the, the criteria, click the button, load more products, instantly you'll have a whole nother set. And these are already pre-filtered again. Uh, I just did that once, so now we have 96 products. These are already filtered down to the first two criteria, but we're gonna go look at the reviews now. We want the max to be 1,000. And then the last criteria is make sure that the weight is no more than five pounds. And from there, we can see Lots of great product opportunities. The first one, let's just check, uh, it's priced at $26.95. It's BSR, or the best sellers rank is 933. It only has 401 reviews, and it weighs just a few ounces. And it does $136,000 a month, uh, which is awesome. And then if you go down here, pretty much, which is, which, is, which is great, almost every product on here is doing close to $100,000 a month. These, we have an entire list of million dollar products right here. Uh, and one last thing on the tool, if you ever forget what these products are, we built the tool so that when you just hover over the name, it's going to show you a picture of it, it's going to show you the title, it's going to show you the, the price, so you can quickly compare and look at all these products that the tool is pulling up for you. And the last criteria is the only one that's kind of hard to filter out automatically. Um, it's called 
private label, we call it private label potential, basically meaning that you can go out there and create your own brand of this product. We do not recommend you sell other people's brands of products. Your margins are gonna be way less and you're gonna be heavily restricted in how you can sell that product, where you can sell that product, and you're gonna be competing against likely tons of other people selling the literally exact same product and the only thing you can compete on at that point is price. And so you want a product that you can create your own brand of. And so when you start looking at some of these opportunities, you're gonna to need to avoid products that are, you know, sort of have a ton of research and that sort of thing behind them, like an iPhone, for example. Uh, products that would be very hard to find manufacturers for. Because typically whenever we're looking for products, like the next step once we would create a list like this, you can hopefully make a judgment call on a couple of them. Uh, but for the ones you can't, you're gonna to need to pop over to a site like Alibaba.com and uh, look over there and see if you can find a similar product that a manufacturer is making that you can put your own brand on. That's usually a good sign. If you wanna go an even step further, you can always do a bit of a patent search online, a trademark search online, hire an attorney if you really wanna go further. Because we're not here telling you to go rip off people's products. That's not a great business to be in. You wanna create products that ideally are a little bit better, which a lot of times is not a huge hassle. Because like for example, this product that he has pulled up here, this uh, water flosser, uh, you can likely look at the reviews and find stuff that people don't like about this product. You can go to the manufacturer and a lot of times they can just make a few small tweaks without reinventing the product, doesn't really take any extra time. And then all of a sudden you have a better product that's got your own brand on it, that's not infringing on anybody's patents or trademarks or any of that kind of stuff. Because most of the products sold on Amazon are gonna be very generic. I mean, it's like the whole thing, like, it's not really a great example anymore because nobody uses VCRs, but there was a time <laughs> when, you know, VCRs had gone downhill, and I think there was literally one manufacturer over in Japan or China or somewhere that was basically supplying everyone's VCRs. Uh, and they were basically just slapping their own brand names on there. Same business people have done forever. So there's a small number of products that are maybe protected by some sort of patent or trademark or that kind of thing. Uh, everything else is kind of open for fair game. I and mean, we take a yoga mat, for example. There's probably one out of a thousand yoga mats that you couldn't sell because they've done some weird design patent thing. All the other ones are just people slapping their logos, swapping out materials. Most people are not gonna go through the hassle of doing all that because it just doesn't really make sense. And so you're looking for products like that that you can put your own brand name on. And typically, if you can find a supplier that's making a generic sort of version of that one uh, that you could put your own brand name, that's usually a good sign that it's a potential product that you could sell that does have what we call private label potential. You know, that was an eye opener for me when I got into this business about six, seven years ago. Is I didn't realize that you could go out there and make these products. Like just looking at the, we're looking at here, you think that, you know, Crest is the only company that's making toothpaste. You think that, uh, you know, Oral-B is the only company making these, uh, these tooth, brushes or maybe these sonic you know cleansers for your teeth but in reality they're just the biggest brand names out there. There are hundreds of other products just like them that are you know, completely non-big name brands. This one right here we're looking at, um, I can tell you that this is a private label seller. They don't have their brand name on it. They're just calling it the Cordless Water Flosser. Uh, so that's not some big company out there selling this. It's just a person like you, like me, who's decided to go out, find a product that works as good, if not better, than someone else who has a water flosser. They've made a good, you know, up some good packaging on it. They have a great image, kind of see the water splashing around there. They're selling it for 35 bucks and they are generating $136,000 a month in revenue with this product. And if you figure they're probably making 25, 30% of profit, that is a pretty significant amount of profit. What, maybe $50,000 a month in profit off this one product right there, which is pretty incredible. Yeah, and supplements and beauty products are often like an easy example to kind of explain this, you know. Those products, you know, they typically have fairly generic ingredients, like take a probiotic or vitamin D or like vitamin C serum, which I think is probably still super popular, or at least was super popular as a beauty product. Like those ones are all super easy to create your own brands of. And a lot of, them, a lot of times, like Mike was just talking about, some of these products can be doing incredible amounts of revenue and profit. Um, and there's still tons of opportunity for new brands in there. Um, so yeah, so those, those are the five criteria. Uh, and you know, we've talked a lot about this tool, and like I said, it's 100% free. And so, uh, Mike, maybe we kind of show them real quick how to get access to it. Yeah, so I'm gonna pull up a blank tab here, and all you need to do to get access is go to amazinglivenow.com slash profit. And that is going to automatically take you to a page that will tell you about the Profit Miner tools. You can, you can read everything about this, how it's free right now, uh, all the details you want. But it's going to have a button that just says, click to get access to Profit Miner right now. 
When you click that, all you're gonna need to do is put in your first name and your email address. And when you click get access, you're then going to get taken to a screen that's gonna give you the instructions to download it. And there we are. Uh, if you watch this video, you will hear my voice. I actually walk you through the entire steps of getting the tool. It's pretty simple, and we have all the steps right below the video as well. The first thing, probably the only real restriction of this tool, is that it uses the Google Chrome browser, which is by far the most popular browser right now. If you don't have Chrome, it's completely free. Uh, we even give you the link right here. Go to google.com slash chrome. That'll take you to the download page. You can download and install Chrome. It works on tablets, it works on phones, it works on desktops and laptop computers. Uh, so it's real easy to do. Uh, next then is once you have the Chrome browser installed, then we have another link that'll take you right to the Google Chrome store. It's called asmnow.com slash profit miner. Don't worry about that. It's going to be on the screen. Just click on it and it goes right to the Chrome store where you can then install the tool and get access to it right away. Uh, the only last step is when you're using the tool the very first time, you will need to input your email address. Uh, that way it'll know that you're authorized, that you've downloaded the tool and you're authorized to use it. And then you can just start look, looking for all the products on Amazon, just like we did here, and instant results. It's one of the fastest tools we've seen. Uh, this tool also, it's not estimating. It is pulling in actual, real Amazon sales data from thousands of sellers who actually have real data selling products on Amazon, so it knows how much they sell. I know this because I've tested it. My products are in there, so I know that the sales volumes are, are accurate, and it has tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of products also as well, that they have real sales data. So you know that when you're looking up products on Amazon and getting access to the, the BSR and the weight and the daily sales volume, the monthly sales volume, you're getting the most accurate data out there you possibly could. Yeah, so um, we got a couple questions here. So one is from Michael, uh, who asked, does the tool show estimated shipping cost? It does not right now. Um, we may actually add that feature in the future, but right now it does not show estimated shipping costs, but maybe you just want to We are adding that, as a matter of fact. Oh, sweet. So we are going to be adding an estimated shipping costs that include all of Amazon's fees. Because, you know, Amazon, uh, they do a lot for you. They pick and pack the products, they box them up, they ship them to customers, they accept returns, and you pay for that service called the Fulfillment by Amazon service. Very reasonable, probably the most affordable different fulfillment service out there. They do that for you, and there's a, there's a, a fee for it that they'll tell you. The tool is going to be updated to actually give you exact what that fee is going to be. So you'll know that every time you sell a product for $30, there'll be a certain 20 to 30% that's going to come out of there for Amazon, and it'll calculate exactly what that is. Also, the tool works on Amazon.com for the entire U.S. market right now, and we're already updating it to work on the U.K. market, uh, the German marketplace, several of the European marketplaces as well. We're just going to expand it to all the Amazon marketplaces. We just wanted to get this one uh, for you guys free, working as accurately and best as possible so that you get access to it right now. Yeah, and for uh, Mohammed here is asking if there's it's limited to the number of searches per month. There are not there's not that kind of limit now. It's not like you're gonna search five times and then it's gonna try to charge you. <laughs> it's a hundred percent free. And then somebody was asking like, is is it gonna uh, be uh, is it gonna cost money later? We plan to keep this free. It may only be available for a short period of time. We do actually plan on pulling it here uh, fairly soon. But if you get access now, it should be no problem whatsoever. Um, so there's not really a reason why you wouldn't jump over there and kind of get your access to lock it in. Uh, but we do plan to keep it free. Yeah, we don't ask for any credit card or any type of pay payment information at all. Only thing we want you to do is just your email address so you can activate the tool uh, when you get it off the Chrome store. Uh, and yep, Alex says, where can I get the uh, tool again just slowly? So uh, one of our team members, you'll see a comment here on Facebook. Uh, that uh, if you just scroll up a little bit, it says amazinglivenow.com slash profit. And with the recording, we'll edit the description and so that you can actually have that link in there also. Uh, but yeah, our team members already uh, put that link inside of the comments, but it's just amazinglivenow.com slash profit. And that'll take you directly to that um, little web page Mike showed you where you can opt in and get access to the tool for free. So uh, yeah, that's today's live session. You learned how to find products on Amazon. Now remember, like we've got this cool tool, we're giving it to you for free, it's a good deal, um, but you can do this stuff manually. So we don't wanna tell you like, oh, you have to use the software. We taught this thing for years without using a piece of software. It just saves a lot of time. It saves a lot of time, a lot of hassle, and you could potentially find better opportunities because you're gonna get exhausted digging for them, doing it the manual way. So if you use a tool, you could possibly go deeper and faster um, without sort of getting fatigued doing all that stuff and find ones that people that don't have a software may never find just because they won't um, go at it long enough. Um, so yeah, well, you can totally use a software tool. It's 
way better to do it, but you don't have to. Uh, there is going to be an instant replay of this here on Facebook. We're also going to upload an edited copy to our YouTube channel, so check out both of those. And one last thing we want to tell you about before we go is that we have a brand new four-part video series that we're releasing over at AmazingSellingMachine.com, or another way you can get there is AmazingLiveNow.com slash free, and we'll post that link in the description also. So it's a new four-part training series that walks you through each of the major steps of building this business, it's 100% free. So the first video is all about finding good product opportunities. The second one is about sourcing uh, products, finding suppliers, creating your own brand, and uh, setting up some automation in the business so that you're not having to manage inventory, manage warehouses, you're using Amazon for all that stuff. And the video number three is about launching your product and generating sales. And video four shows you how to put the whole thing together and follow a path that we've taught to many, many people before. So you can check out that whole video series. The first video just went live this morning. The next one goes live on Thursday, and we keep going after that. Um, so in addition to that, we're doing this uh, daily live show uh, every weekday, Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Central right here. So you should be able to see if you're here on Facebook, on your top right, I believe, there's a little follow button. So if you click that follow button, and I believe it should also say see first, that'll make sure that you get access to these as soon as they're released and you don't miss any of them because uh, each one is going to have a different topic and we're just going to try to give you as much value as possible so you can go out there and build your business. Now, and the free video series, that's exactly the same free video series. It's been updated, of course, but the one that got me started, you know, six, seven years ago in this business. I remember watching those free four first videos, uh, you know, getting into the entire Amazon business. And as you can tell, it changed my life. I'm here. This is what I do full time now. Uh, now I help teach people just uh, like on these calls right here. I love doing it. Uh, and I, I can't tell you how much uh, I enjoyed being able to share this with you and be a part of the video training and to keep sharing new tactics and strategies. We're probably on these live sessions going to be teaching you some new strategies that no one's ever talked about before. So you definitely want to like our page, follow along with us, join these live sessions because we have some pretty cool ideas. Matt and I were brainstorming, changing things up even last night uh, to make sure you guys get as much relevant, new, exciting information as possible so you, uh, you won't be disappointed. Yeah, so thanks for joining us today. Hopefully we see you on our next live show, which will be tomorrow. Uh, go out there, use this tool, poke around on Amazon, see if you can find some opportunities. Then check out our video series. Uh, video one will go into more detail on how to find products. Video two will show you the next step, which is how to source these products. And so yeah, hopefully we see you soon. Thanks for joining us.